All right, so for those of you guys that uh, want to find out if your heater control valve is bad, um, there's two things you can check out. First one, obviously, you're going to want to check in the car. You can really find out a lot just by doing this and seeing if it's any good. You want to check your ohm reading on it to see if you have continuity between this plug and each one of these solenoids. So, first thing, this pin right here is your ground. Touch there, and then each one of these is a separate solenoid. So you should have 15 to 18 ohms. You got about 16 on that one. And about 16 on that one. So that means that in between this plug, we have continuity with all the wiring inside, which is good. That's a good valve. Um, second thing you can check inside these ports, you're going to have to take it out of the car for this. Um, you got to look inside here with a flashlight, and what will happen is the seals break down inside, and they'll hold the pins. There's like a little a plunger in there, and what will happen is the rubber gets stuck between the seat and the plunger, and it holds it up. So if you're driving around in the middle of the summer with the heat off, and you still have heat coming through, pretty good chances that the rubber seals in here have broken down and they're holding the valve open. So that's another thing you can check. Um, I found out taking this out, um, I seen a couple other videos where guys were trying to like reach down in between the intake and get it. If you just take your air box out, take the mass airflow sensor, your throttle body, everything <laughs> right off the side of the intake, you're going to be much better off. Um, you can, I ended up removing the dipstick too, just pulling the tube right out and then I could reach right down in there and get to all the hoses. It kind of sits in there like this and you're trying to put a hose on. You can't really reach underneath it or anything. So that's what worked for me. So anyway, good luck.